two, one, and lift off. Shortly after 7 a.m. on Friday, the Orion space capsule lifted off from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida for a test flight that NASA sees as a huge step for the future of America's space exploration efforts. I am extremely excited. This is a huge day for NASA. Uh, we have thousands of people that have uh, poured their heart and soul into this program. For NASA, uh, this is kind of our flagship program and will allow us to do things we r can barely even dream of right now. During the four and a half hour flight, Orion is set to orbit Earth twice and hit an altitude of 3,600 miles above the surface of the Earth. That's 15 times higher than the International Space Station and the farthest a spacecraft designed for humans has flown since the Apollo 17 moonshoot mission in 1972. NASA has spent more than eight years and nine billion dollars on the program so far. The agency has big plans for Orion. The test capsule launched on Friday without any crew on board. But NASA plans to send the spacecraft on its first manned mission in 2021. A few years later, Orion could take humans to an asteroid and ultimately to Mars, the space agency says. The first few uh, missions are, you know, a little bit closer to home, so if things do go wrong, we can get back quickly. But uh, certainly, as we go 10, 20 years down the road, we definitely have Mars as, as our ultimate goal in those late 2020s, where we actually take that long journey and, and are, are confident enough in our systems and our design uh, to make it all the way to the red planet and make us multi-plant species. For Friday's launch, NASA used a Delta IV heavy rocket to boost Orion into space. But the agency is building a much larger rocket that it calls the Space Launch System to take the capsule into deep space in the future. NASA says the Orion capsule in its current state is a base vehicle that can be upgraded and modified based on need and as technology advances. The scientists hope Friday's test flight will verify some of the key technologies of the capsule, which was manufactured by the American aerospace company Lockheed Martin. They will be monitoring in particular how Orion's heat shield and parachutes perform. At the end of its short mission, Orion will slow from a travel speed of 20,000 miles per hour down to zero and splash into the Pacific Ocean.